Hey guys, Nick here, and today's video is going to be very awesome, as it's going to be about, if I had 4 minutes with 343, what would I tell them that I would like changed or improved for the next Halo game? So, I have some points laid out, so let's get right into it. Alright, so my first point that I would probably pitch to 343, you know, you're stuck in an elevator because it's broken down, and 343 is right there in front of you. What would you say? What would, what would you be your first suggestion? So, I've run it over my head a little bit. So, first thing I would say to them is community driven events. Community driven events are awesome. They are probably the coolest thing ever. Uh, the YouTube community does a pretty good job of handling that kind of thing already, uh, in my eyes anyway, you know. It's all competitions that clean up runs or custom games or things that, you know similar to that. You know, it's not too bad. But I think if 343 really took it under their you know, own arms and they really took it on themselves, I think they could do a really awesome job and really give the community something to work towards every week. I know we have the challenges and already stuff like that, but all you really get from them is experience and that's all fine and dandy. But you want more. You wanna you wanna really strive for something, not only as a player, but as a community. You know, really brings the whole community together as a whole to work towards a common goal. So an example that I came up with in my head, you know, just really quickly off the top of my head, was you know, the community had to get, you know, Two, three hundred thousand kills in a week. Everyone had to pitch together, get to so many kills, and then if you achieve that, if the community achieves that, then that weekend they get double experience. And that's just a really rough, you know, draft of an idea. You don't take that too literal. But if they did things like that, where the community banded together to do a campaign level, you know, so many people had to do a certain campaign level, or they had to do so many melees, or something along those lines, they could earn something like double XP or unlock a new bit of armor that they've been working on or something like that, you know what I mean? It's 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 more of a you you play our game, we'll reward you for it kind of scheme. So it works both ways for us and three four three. And personally, I'm a big, you know, team worker. I love being a team player, so that would be the kind of thing I would, you know, strive for doing so much every week. I'm like, come on guys, we can get this double XP. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so I think that would be a really awesome idea, it would drive everyone, in, not only as a player, but as a community together, even closer. Uh, even though the little community we have right now is already qu quite tight-knit, you know, it expanded quite a lot, as everyone would be trying to help each other out to unlock whatever 343 has locked away for us. So, this is my first point, so let's move on to the second one. Alright, so point number two is adding more personal experiences to the campaign, and you're probably wondering yourself, what do you mean by this, Nick? I don't really understand this point. If you didn't know, I'm a massive fan of the Halo campaigns, it's probably the biggest reason why I actually buy the game. And I would just love there to be more choice really, I I already know that they do some things, like you can give the Marines a weapon, sometimes if you give them a rocket they'll probably shoot the ground and kill you both, but it's a bit of fun nonetheless. And I think if they gave the player more choices, for example, if there was a pin down uh, Warthog with a driver that needed your help, or there's a pin down group of Marines that needed your help, Whatever one you you know decide to save is the one that you get to go with through the rest of the level, and uh, the other one obviously gets taken away from that choice. This would be really cool because it would add a bit more choice and more player interactivity into the actual level instead of you just mindlessly going through the mission, just killing things. Um, and it also gives the player a reason to go back and play the actual mission to see what it's like for the other outcome. And I know there's implications and stuff like this, and obviously it wouldn't affect the story in any way. It would just affect the you know the actual. Uh, mission leading up to the story. So, hope you guys agree with this point. So, let's move on to the final point, point number three. Alright, so point number three is larger scale games. And what I mean by this is more players in each multiplayer match. I know this would have implications like larger maps and stuff like that. And I'm not talking we go battlefield here. I'm not talking we go overboard with 64 man servers. Just, just picture 64 BRs firing all at once. It would be it would be like the end of the world. It would be an, an apocalypse in Halo. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool to see, but I don't think I would enjoy playing it very much. I'm talking, you know, 20 people, maybe 30 people maximum per game. And I think the I think this would improve Halo a lot. I think if they made a playlist uh, where it was big team battle, but on the extreme end of things, I think it would be truly amazing. They could add so many more things. You know, they could have elephants. They could have scarves, maybe, for players to control. That would be, I think that would be the coolest thing ever. If you could board a pelican with your friends and try and take down an enemy scarab in multiplayer, that would be mind blowing. And I would never, ever, ever get off Halo if that was in the game. And that's something I've always wanted in Halo. I've always wanted these large scale army type battles that are just huge and immense. If you ever remember 
that cutscene from Halo Reach where it's all the Warthogs charging towards the Covenant. I basically want that but in multiplayer. I think that'll be absolutely amazing and I would have an absolute ton of fun on that. Alright, thanks very much for watching guys. Hopefully you agreed with some of the points that I uh, came up with in this video. If you didn't, then maybe you have some different ones that are even better than mine. Hopefully the next Halo game will be amazing. I have a lot of faith in 343 that they'll put lots of amazing new features into it. So all we can do is wait and see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hey y'all, I'm the Southern Gamer Frozen Sword, aka the Shaman of Sexy, aka the Honcho of Hotness, aka Bilbo Sagging Baggins, aka the Halo Lore King. Fo Chisel says in my Wizzle Dizzle, give me a bull, yeah, oh, bull, yeah. Now my boy Peanut Butter and Jelly Cleanup wants us to talk about if we have four minutes alone with 343, how would we tell them they can improve the next Halo? And this is what I'm going to be like. I'm going to be blunt with 343. I'll be like, yo dogs, we lore guys, we absolutely loved Halo 4's campaign. We thought it was the best so far. We like how you went in depth with Master Chief and Cortana's personalities. We loved all of it. But most guys who aren't into the lore would tell you the complete opposite because they had no idea what was going on. And I'm going to be honest with 343. You have three ways uh, I know of that you can change or make it better where people, besides lore guys, can understand the next Halo campaign. And here's how it is. Option 1. Bring game manuals freaking back! Screw the trees! People love game manuals because people enjoy reading summaries of what is happening in the story so far. People love reading about character and enemy battles, descriptions of vehicles, and maybe even contain a dictionary of Halo words like Forerunner and Gelly language. This makes learning about the current lore for the campaign easy and fun. And when people start putting the disc in after reading the manual, they will be prepared on what the game will be about. That is something that you don't have anymore. Look at Halo 4, open the box, no manual. You need that back. Like the previous Halos had where people would know what was going on. Bring that back for Halo 5. Option 2. Don't use words that are only used in the books like, for example, in Sala. Just use normal words that mean the same thing like AI that everybody understands. The Forerunner trilogy of books made up a lot of new words, which is a load of bull sewage. We lore guys love a good story, but using everyday words that everyone can understand won't make us mad. Don't be bringing in the Forerunner entire language into the game. People will not understand what's happening. Even some of us lore guys had to use Wikipedia on some of these words to figure out what's going on. I personally understood it, but I've talked to lore guys that didn't. Option 3. Make a prologue like what was done with Dr. Halsey in Halo 4, but have the prologue have a summary of what happened in the books or comics leading up to the game. For example, Halo 4 could have had a summary prologue of the events taking place in the Kilo 5 and Forerunner trilogies. Yes, we lore guys know what happened because we read the books, but no one else does. You start the game of Halo 4 and Dr. Halsey is stuck in jail and being interrogated and everybody else is like, what's going on? We lore guys were like, yeah, we know. But then everybody else has to look up online what is happening. You can't keep doing that. You gotta make it where everybody understands. Have a prologue if you have to to explain what has happened before the game starts. And those are my three options of 343 that they could do to improve the campaign where everybody can understand it and not just the lore guys. And then I would end my conversation with 343 by going, look into your shirt and spell attic. And it'd be like, A-T-T-I-C. And I'd be like, ha, 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 you spelled A-T-T-I-C. And that's how I would end my conversation with 343. So, if you enjoyed the video, give me a bull, yeah. Oh, bull, yeah. If you want to see more of me, give me a good old vote in the comments. And until next time, my invisible hat is off to all of you.